I'm on a plane and thought I'd code something quick before my battery runs out. One thing that really impressed me in high school was a feature in Macromedia Flash. Since then, Macromedia was bought by Adobe, so Flash became Adobe Flash and eventually Adobe Animate. But the feature is still there. Draw a movie clip, create a classic motion tween, add a guide, and draw any path. Make sure the object snaps at the beginning and at the end. Select Orient to Path, and make sure the orientation matches the line at the start and at the end locations. Now, that's what I wanted to recreate using JavaScript. I'm gonna fast forward and describe the main steps. Let's see how it went. I started off with basic HTML, setting up a canvas project. To see the canvas, I gave it a background color, and I stretched it to fill the whole screen. I didn't like those margins appearing there, and the scroll bars, so I removed them with CSS. Now, I wanted a simple plane, like the one I did in Animate, and it should be possible to set it at any location, the center of the screen for now. To draw the plane, it needs a draw method, and I'm passing here the canvas to the drawing context. Now, let's create the plane class. The constructor has the x and y location. Setting these as attributes, and the draw method, given the context, let's just draw a circle for now. Seems to work. Let's design the plane next. I'll pass here a size, say 60 pixels by default, so I don't need to worry about it all the time. And let's move to center top and line to center bottom. Center is just the x and top will be the y minus half the size. The bottom, I mean this point here, is not exactly all the way down, so y plus 30% of the size. And then another line to, let's call it wing bottom, and close the path so it draws the line back to the starting point. And now we get this. We do the same thing on the right, and starts to look as expected. I decided to leave styling it for later and focus on the path drawing functionality next. Didn't want the battery to end without something fully functional. Anyway, decided to add the drawing functionality to its own class and add event listeners for pointer down, move, and up. These should work on mobile as well. The path is an array with the start point added here and new points added on move while drawing. Then on pointer up, I decided to support multiple paths at the same time to make things more interesting. So if the drawn path has enough points, I'm adding it to the other attribute. Then I headed back here and began an animation loop where on each frame I draw the plane and let's draw the paths as well. I made a method for drawing that like so and it didn't work. After debugging a bit, I realized I forgot to call it here. Now this just draws the current path for now so let's rename it and create the real draw paths method so it loops through all of them, like so. And I also pass a color here to distinguish between the current path and those already drawn. Now I create a new plane in the location of the first point in the path and I also assign the path to it like this. I added the plane to a global array and inside the animate function draw all of them like so and the assign path method I just set the path as an attribute for now so we can debug. It's important not to try to do too many things at once, or errors will be hard to find. Now, things seemed to work, so I moved on to the animation. I checked if there's a path, and if it has any points, we take the first point, set the plane to that location, and remove the point from the path. Pretty nice, but I didn't want the line to disappear like that. I mean, eventually we won't even need to show these lines, but what happens now is the plane essentially forgets where it came from. Maybe we wanted to remember, who knows. We can avoid that by just storing an index along the path where we want it to be, like this. Good. Now, I wanted it to orient to path as well. For that, I needed the next point and calculated the angle like this. Something works, but we need to offset the rotation by 60 degrees as well. Now, with the main functionality done, I moved on to styling the plane. Gave it two colors, removed that anchor point, added fills and cleaned up the code a bit, and nice. But one thing is still not great. See here how the plane moves faster just because I drew the line faster? Maybe this is something you want. I mean, planes do speed up and slow down at times, so it gives a way of controlling that. But I wanted it to move at the same rate. So what I did is I post-processed the path a little here after drawing it. 
I began by resampling it so that points that are too close are removed. It's better already and... Uh, oh, if you ever travel by thin air, try their blueberry juice. It's really good. Right. I also wanted to add points if two consecutive ones are too far away, so I implemented the lerp function. If you don't know what that is, check out my video on linear interpolation. And I also wrote a 2D lerp function to make things easier. Then I just added a bunch of points along the path before doing the subsampling. This isn't very efficient, but for this, it's more than enough. One thing I didn't like now is that the plane is shaky. It's because I can't draw smooth lines with the tool I coded here. In Animate, I used the pen tool, which gave me a smoother path. I tried two things to fix this. First was to update the rotation by a fraction of what the angle is supposed to be, to give it a bit of a smooth effect. It failed because... I don't really remember why. I did know while on the plane, but I didn't make any notes, and now I'm too lazy to debug. Something to do with angles outside the typical 0-360 range screwing up the math. I also realized it wasn't the way to go. The plane rotation would lag as it turns, and it wouldn't look good. So I decided on a different approach, to smooth the path instead by just averaging consecutive points. One iteration was not enough, so I did several, and I was done. Check out the live demo on my website and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you guys.